Okay, so hello everyone, I'm Saken and I'm delighted to be able to give you my point of view about how changes uh, affect me or ourselves uh, level of motivations when creating and especially during this more than 60 or 65 days of confinement. Uh, I'm the only one the world came up on, I don't think so. Uh, okay, as you can, as you uh, are going to see on the next photo, uh, my life is on the street and now even more. Uh, as a child, as you can see in the photo, I used to spend every weekend on vacation in my family's town. It was a small village with less than 50 people in summer and probably almost all of my family. House with uh, doors open 24 hours, seven days a week, that allowed me to be truly free and happy. Uh, there I learned about nature, about working in fields. I learned to drive tractors, to make bows for arrows, to feed, everything. I learned everything that made me happy. Um, now I, I live in Madrid. Uh, my house is here. And when I was a child and young, uh, I was on the outskirts of the city. We went down to the street to knock on the doors of our friends, to spend the afternoon in the neighborhood riding bikes, making cabins, and doing graffiti as we were a little older. Now, as you can see, I dedicate myself to paint on the street in a professional way. My work allowed me to be in a different place each time all over the world. Also, as you can see on this one, uh, all my free time is spending the nature. I practice climbing and mountaineering. I have been able to visit incredible mountains all over Europe, as this one that is on the Alpes, but also on the Himalayas. Last year, I bought a van, and me and my girlfriend used to go uh, out for a few days of sleep in the mountains, do roads, climbing. All this can give you a dimension of how much my interest is to live outside and to have experience in outer space, and how far I'm from working at home or being locked up. Uh, suddenly, everything falls apart, and that freedom of movement is reduced to a space, my house, as you can see on the photo which is luckily also my studio, as you can see. I think something that came in very handy was not knowing exactly how long this situation would last. That made it easier for me uh, to think about the day-to-day -day and not to think about the moment when I could be able to go out. Uh, the first day was com very, very complicated. It was a totally new situation. At this time, the disinformation began. Thousands of news were collected daily, social networks, television, radio. Anywhere you listen to the same conversations and uh, news, it was impossible to abstract. Think of something else and not have uh, your head too worried. Let's say that the first three or four days I spent mentalizing and wandering around a bit. Uh, on the other hand, it was in my favor to be living a very new situation, to think about and get ideas. So I started doing things that would distract me a little from everything that was happening here. I'm listening to so much news, so much information, so much WhatsApp message. What I need was to try to be positive, to keep my mind more or less clean and be able to leave, uh, to leave this room for creativity. I looked for several books and I wanted to read. I began to write day by day thoughts or feelings I was having. Uh, little by little, I found motivation on a small daily task on, or on a small details like reading, play, uh, uh, writing, playing a sport, cooking, things that maybe I hadn't paid as much attention to before as I was doing now. It is true that my freedom of movement had been reduced to zero, but I had to, uh, a lot of time to focus on the things that I had not done before. As you can see on the photo, I have planned some pieces. Uh, I have spent a lot of time contemplating to see things in data lane and look more closely. Being able, being able to have time to focus on something motivates me. All these changes that were taking place outside in society generate in me new options and ideas to keep me motivated. Those are some small notes I took on my phone day after day. As you can see, day one, day two, day three. Uh, generating a small daily creative routines has helped, has helped me to be productive. Every day I decide to make one or two watercolors, write a list of poem or text, or spend time in the kitchen. But on the other hand, there, are, there have been social networks. These weeks have been important to me. We all know that they are a double-edged tool and that you have to know how to use them. I have discovered 
uh, all the side uh, have discovered through them that we were all more or less on the same situation or had the same thoughts and feelings, whether we live in Madrid or on the other side of the world. Also, we did not speak the same language, and Image was able to copy, convey the same message. Uh, I created this Instagram filter as, uh, through an animation of a flying bird. Everyone could use it from the window. I think about that moment when we could be free again. People's response was great, as you can see, and it was shared by many, many people. It is still available, and you can find it on my Instagram account if you want to use it. Uh, in, uh, in the end, it was another way to share my feelings with other people, regardless of where we are. Uh, this is another project that emerged through social network, ne networks and in, in principle consisted of sharing thoughts, ideas, ideas or feelings that we were all having in our homes anonymously with other people from anywhere in the world. We were the platform that would unite these people, sort of like uh, like a pen pal. We have not managed to get this project off the ground, but the work uh, with Yannick, Ragat, and I carry out, and just that keep me motivated. After this project, I began to think of possible works that spoke directly about the situation. My mind was more stable and almost used to this situation. They say that um, 21 days, I think, are enough to get used to do something. And I thought it was a good time to start painting and create work. I don't usually work like this in the studio, and from the beginning I miss painting on the street a lot, but I have no other choice, and maybe it was a good time to do it. It took several ideas and made different acrylic on canvas that combined text to talk about the personal situation I was experiencing. Uh, they were all new situations. Take off a mask, cut my hair cells, take off my gloves after coming to shop, also, spending so much time at home has made me look at details that my own house has, and I had not seen before or noticed how the plant that I have is living in the living room has grown. For a while, I was drawing conclusions that I continued uh, to write in notes of my mobile. All of this process, I have been saving in text notes, in drawing, in photographs, like any of ones you have seen on this presentation. And thanks to that, I am now working on an editorial project that I will release, I think, the next month. It will be ready. I hope so. And it's a kind of journal of confinement. In the end, everything has its good side, had at these things. And thanks to this, I have managed to get an interesting project ahead. So thank you, everybody. Thank you all. Thank you very much for listening. And I hope you found it interesting. Mm -hmm.